Hello guys and guyettes, and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial here on Tuesday, uh, here on Tuesday, here on Tutorial Tuesday, there we go, we're getting into it, I'm a little bit rusty, <laughs> um, but anyways, today I want to show you about a really, really cool feature that I found out about After Effects, which is, uh, pretty much the fancy text tutorial that I did in Photoshop, but now we can do it all inside of After Effects, and we can even animate some of the parameters that I talked previous tutorial, so if you have not already, go check out my fancy text tutorial, it is a Photoshop tutorial, and it's really, really easy tutorials or any other work, or even if you bring in fancy text into After Effects and animate it for an intro like that. But now I want to show you guys we can do it all inside of After Effects and we can even animate some of the stuff I talked about in um, that other tutorial. So pretty much we're going to start out by, it uh, doesn't have to be text, but I will, that's what I did in the fancy text tutorial. So I'm just going to type out my name, the guy or die. I'm going to bring it up in my uh, character panel right here. If you don't see it, go to the top right and then make sure this panel is enabled. And uh, basically I'm going to get rid of my, um, I'm going to get rid of my outline and I'm going to change my uh, text to make sure it's white so we can see it. I'm going to get one of my favorite fonts, which is either Molo, Mula or Monofonto. Uh, so I can actually showcase or something if you guys want. I don't know if that would be something you guys were interested in, but uh, there we go. That's one of my favorite fonts. That looks really nice, plain and simple. I'm going to go ahead and use my selection tool to select it and then I'm going to align it to the center using the align panel. If you do not see it, make sure you go to window and then align and you'll see this. Distribute it to the middle and uh, from here we can start getting creative just like we did in the previous tutorial. So pretty much what we want to do is we're going to right click, go to layer styles and we want to select what layer style we want to do. Now like always, I like to start off with a nice, nice gradient overlay and uh, from here it's just like the fancy text tutorial. We can go ahead and go to our blending options and uh, you'll notice that, uh, oh not blending options, sorry, our gradient overlay, you'll notice every single parameter is the same as it would be in Photoshop. So if you want to copy paste over some of the settings I talked about in that tutorial, you can do that. And it's really awesome because uh, they actually go hand in hand and it's pretty much just the same thing. So I'm not going to go too detailed into what I'm doing right now because I talked about it in the previous tutorial, but I just want to show that you can actually animate some of these parameters and it looks super, super sick. Um, so right here, you'll notice we have our gradient overlay. We can actually, um, we, we can uh, animate any number of these and uh, if you want you can actually animate the uh, the angle I think that looks really kind of cool it looks funky indeed um, but we can also animate stuff like the style like I don't even know how that would be uh, useful but it is and it's it's really crazy and smoothness and whatnot so um, there's that I don't want to spend too much time on it but I'm just gonna keep doing my thing I'm gonna bring the opacity down and uh, up next I usually like to do a nice nice um, inner glow so I'll get that going um, I'm gonna try not to make this too much of a repeat but uh, I want to show some of the animating right here so what we can do is actually uh, animate the mm, over here we have opacity and the size I'm going to bring that up, start to see nice, has a nice glowing edge here, and uh, we can even bring up the range if we so want. There we go, noise, noise. So we can animate that to go over time. So if we want to like bring that down to like zero, um, you'll notice it does that, you know, it does that all animated in real time. Um, so one of the cool things I like to animate is actually a drop shadow, but not just a regular drop shadow, a hard drop shadow that kind of makes it look 3D. Oop, I clicked the gradient overlay again. Um, so I'll show you what that would look like. A drop shadow here. And um, what we can actually do, I'm going to enable transparency so we can kind of see what we're doing. Um, I'm going to bring my size down and our distance all the way at zero. And I'm going to put my opacity at 100%, angle at 90 degrees, which is pointing straight down distance at zero uh, and we're going to keyframe the distance but um, I'm going to keyframe at the same spot we did the inner glow I'm going to keyframe it down so it makes like it makes it look like it's extru extruding um, and I'm going to make it never go straight black always go a little bit above to make it look a little more realistic so that looks pretty cool and so you see it animates that it goes do kind of looks like it's liquefying almost I don't even know it looks like it's like filling up or something it looks really funky um but now we can actually add a stroke but if we add a stroke now we'll kind of see it doesn't stroke what we've extruded with the uh with the um what you call it the drop shadow so i'm gonna go ahead and remove it and we can use pre-comps to our advantage here so i'm gonna go, go ahead and pre-compose here 
I'm not going to bother with naming it. And now, if we decide to um, add a stroke to it, it will actually stroke around where the drop shadow is, if you can see that. So that is what we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make that the same color as our drop shadow here. And then uh, you can take a look at it. And basically, it just looks, uh, looks really cool. So if you want to animate that into your intro somehow, um, I think it looks rather cool. Um, it is a little bit, if it's not a fast animation, the... Uh, the animation isn't that granular, meaning that uh, there's not a lot of increments of the animation in between. But if you go fast like that, um, it will look smooth. So just make sure you keep that in mind. I'm going to bring my keyframes in just to, just to fix that. So I'm going to make it happen over about one second. And we'll go ahead and go back to our main comp. So you'll notice, once I pre-render pre it up, It'll look, uh, it'll look really cool. So I don't know how you want to animate this into intros or whatnot, or um, I think this would look really cool if you like, I don't know, it's a little bit unrealistic, but it, it, say you were working on a movie um, and you were working on like some uh, beginning title screens, uh, maybe you wouldn't make the font look like this because it's a kind of an odd font to make like a intro um, title credit thing for a movie, but um, it kind of does has that, have that uh, sort of feeling, um, especially if I actually want to go here and, um, get rid of the uh, the gradient because the gradient's kind of not selling that effect. If I get rid of the gradient and that, you kind of see it does look rather cool, especially it kind of looks like an opening title type thing. Um, so I don't know, do what you want with it, but I, I really, really found that fact cool that you could do all this inside of After Effects. Um, what I was doing is I was making it in Photoshop and I was just bringing it in the After Effects and it wasn't really dynamic. I couldn't change any of the parameters in real time. Um, but this is just so, so amazing and it works right in my, it integrates seamlessly into my workflow and it's awesome. So uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this. Hopefully, hopefully you get to use it somewhere in your, um, in your projects. I would, uh, I, it, it'll, it'll make me happy knowing that you guys made use of this intro or made use of this tutorial. Um, but with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it was kind of a short tutorial, but uh, this will be going up uh, for the second tutorial in this week. So I'm kind of making up with it uh, for that. Uh, if you want to go check out the uh, tutorial I did previously in the week, you can go take a look at that. But hopefully that was informative. Take it easy, you guys, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another tutorial. Take it easy. Peace out.